Hello, everybody. Welcome to another yet, you know, yet another edition of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. And um, for whatever reason, all my plugins for downloading Facebook videos and all the other media download plugins and whatever just will not really recognize Facebook videos anymore at this point. I'm guessing Facebook. Um, change something in their format and now all these different plugins have to take the time they need to recode and adapt and whatever such is the way of things um so yeah i was originally just going to download this and put it into you know a psec episode and uh you know get to it that way but um, I have to do a screen share mode and you get to listen to the sound coming out my speakers and back into my mic and all that stuff because, um, yeah, I just can't download it and uh, render it into a video. So I have to just play it this way. So here we go. Katarina Roy talking on mindfulness and gratitude because um, she was in a moment of gratitude and she was sharing. And I think it's important to... Uh, you know, to not take life for granted and count our blessings and, um, you know, keep the more positive things in mind and don't allow the negative to be the only real reality. Okay, so I just was like bursting into crying tears and everything and I don't know if the, the person who, who gave me this money wants to <laughs> be known, but I'm, I'm just going to see. Holy shit. Okay, so last night, Paul and I were just feeling this incredible peace. Like, you know, our, our finances have been so... Let me restart that. Seeing as I was doing some volume adjusting at the beginning, let's just go and restart that. Okay, so I just was like bursting into crying tears and everything. And I don't know if the, the person who gave me this money wants to <laughs> be known, but... I'm, I'm just going to see. Holy shit. Okay, so last night, Paul and I were just feeling this incredible peace. Like, you know, our, our finances have been so wonky. Okay, we can do better. It's still distorted and all that. Okay, let me just go back one more time, see if maybe I could get it completely clear on this lovely full screen. And there we go. Here we are. Hopefully. Okay, so I just was like bursting into crying tears and everything, and I don't know if the the person who gave me this money wants to <laughs> be known, but I'm I'm just gonna see. Holy shit! Okay, so last night Paul and I were just feeling this incredible peace, like you know, our our finances have been so wonky because we've just been continuing to trust and continuing to do what we feel called to do and to continuing to have faith and show up and just keep going. And even though, you know, half of our rent was paid for this month and the other half was still needing to be come up for, and, you know, we're still coming up for the rent for the next month. And it's just like, I'm just seeing that every freaking need that I have is being met. And it's incredible because I'm just like feeling like a child and not really, um, knowing where money is coming from, but I see that like help is being provided, supports being provided, people are just showing up in my life to just pour out their love on me. And this is incredible for me. This is just like absolutely incredible for me. I mean, like, I, I kid you not, like this, this means the world to me, like to have $1,200 just show up in my PayPal, like, holy crap, <laughs> you know, like, and I was totally at peace with the idea of, you know, if, if we couldn't get the rent done, like I, I had already come to a place of peace with whatever outcome God wanted for me. And apparently God wants me to be in this house. So, you know, the rent money showed up. Ha, huh, that's incredible. It's amazing. It's just like absolutely freaking incredible. And, and, you know, the person who gave me this money Told me that I have made such an impact on her life over the past couple of years that like she just it was just like she just wanted to do this and you know I'll, I'll give her some art I'll give her some coaching I'll do that but 
The fact is, is that she, of her own choice, of her own free will, of her own volition, she listened to something in her heart that wanted to bless me that way. And that's how God works. That's how God works. And so when we can really receive that love, that divine love that comes from a place that is just freaking like, where is it coming from? I don't know, but I feel it in my heart. When we can let that love in, it can show up in the most incredible, miraculous of ways. Like yesterday, all of the different synchronicities that I had happening of just people showing up, giving me love, giving me support. <sighs> You know, when you've lived through the kind of crap that I've lived through and Stockholm Syndrome and abuse and all that kind of stuff, it's like your mind gets blinded to the miracles that can happen and the love that's available to you. And I'm walking through this right now of being able to just be like, I surrender. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I don't. Like, I'm here and I felt led here. And God has just been telling me to hold it out and, and stay true and just keep doing my art and keep writing and keep sharing and keep showing up. And that's scary for me because, you know, it's like there's no certainty in that. But at the same time, I'm realizing that I don't need the certainty because I have God and I have faith. And like every need is getting met, every need because I'm choosing to be obedient. I'm choosing to listen and I'm choosing to be guided and I'm choosing to be true to what is on my heart to do. And these are the kinds of blessings and miracles that can start happening. And I'm just like, ah, like this is incredible. This is freaking incredible. So I hope that this, my sharing like is just like hitting you also to just know that there is so much love available to you and there's so much abundance and so much support and help and guidance so you have to just ask for it you have to tap in you have to receive the love that's available and you know for me i'm that's through jesus that's through god that's through like calling on angels and all of that like it's it's divine support and i don't think i've ever experienced this level of it in my life before even though i've lived through some pretty incredible miraculous stuff i don't think i've had it this clear to me ever before. And so I just wanted to share that because this is incredible. All right, I'm gonna go because I, I gotta go call my mom. Like this is, she's been praying for me like crazy. And um, yeah, this is amazing. And to you, I know you'll probably wa be watching this. This means the world to me. Thank you so much. And I'm going to give you some kick ass art out of this because that is just my outpouring of love and thanks and gratitude for all that you do and all that you have been for me throughout this journey of me coming into the world and and sharing my story and sharing the the truth of who I am and being able to to bless other people with that because I know that I'm not the only one that's had to overcome some really hard stuff but I happen to be a mouthpiece for it, to help other people to see that they have so much love available to them too, and that they also can be who they are, and that's okay, and that they are totally perfect the way that they are, and they are loved, and they are held, and they are totally accepted and seen for being that way, so thank you. Thank you, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful donor. <laughs> thank you. All right, I'm gonna go, but thank you again. It means so much to me. And for those of you who are missing the moral of the story, as well as for those of you who got it and understand it, the point is, is that when you decide to be authentic and you decide to be yourself and decide to be the person you'd prefer to be and break out of your Stockholm syndrome a bit, that then you are not self-sabotaging and you're not pushing away all of the good people and the support. Because when we're down on ourselves and we bash ourselves and we try to conform to other people and do the whole appeasement game and all the other societal shit, um, 
usually we end up with a lot of, you know, jerks and drama and, you know, that sort of thing gravitating to us and we're sitting there wondering where all the nice people are. You know, we, we start to form a belief that, oh, those nice people must not exist because if they did, well, where are they? Why aren't I seeing them, you know? And it's really the more you, you lighten up on yourself and, and relax and, you know, raise your self-esteem and, and, you know, realize that it's okay for you to be you and you express yourself, then you just being you inspires others and um, your, you setting your example becomes um, a helpful template for others that others can learn from and then they feel grateful for that and then they express that gratefulness and oh look you start making all sorts of new friendships and things happening that you might not have thought possible prior all because you decided to pull your head out of your butt so you know that's that's basically the bottom line on it regardless of whether you believe in god or jesus or not um you know that is the bottom line that when you set that example of being yourself and set that example of who you prefer to be, then the people who do not resonate with that, they're not cool with that, they'll want to stay the hell away from you. And the people that your example is helpful towards, they're going to want to um, pull more towards you and, you know, be there for you and, um, you know, can really enter you into a type of existence that you never imagined possible. And yes, it does take time and it takes dealing, you know, with clearing out a lot of the mental malware and stuff. And, you know, it is a journey. You can't snap your fingers and get there in two seconds. But, you know, if you just um, keep taking steps forward, uh, you will get there eventually. So yeah, that is the, the moral of the story, and I think we can end the video there. So have a good day, night, whatever it is in your part of the world, and catch you later.